research for a drunken botanist at the time, and that was my last book. Um, and I was writing about this guy named Henry Kaufman, who was a gin smuggler. And I just kind of thought I should make sure that Henry Kaufman didn't do something else interesting because I better know that before I say too much about him. And I just started digging through my usual sources, you know, the New York Times archives and places like that. And I found this article from 1915 about a guy named Henry Kaufman who ran his car into a buggy being driven by these three sisters. Uh, there were a lot of these kind of accidents and he uh, busted up their buggy and refused to pay for the damages and and that triggered a crazy out of control conflict i mean it really escalated and pretty soon there's they're fighting back and forth and and they're getting shots fired at their house and bricks thrown through the windows and arson attempts and kidnapping threats i mean it got dark <laughs> quick so they clearly picked the wrong guy to get run into by Right. Yes, it's three sisters. Their names are Constance, Norma, and Florette Kopp. And Constance Kopp is the oldest of the three. She was 35 when this began. And she was, um, all, all three of them were kind of, they're still living at home. They don't have husbands. They don't have a plan for themselves. They don't have careers. They really had not much going on. What historical fiction means for the Kopp sisters is that I'm taking what really happened to them and I'm stitching the gaps together with fiction. But the real events are all there and they anchor the story. And the experience of taking three dead women and piecing everything about their lives back together again, just out of random bits of the historical record that are still floating around out there. It's a very powerful experience. And I started to feel very obligated to them at a certain point. You know, like I got to the point where I thought, I owe, I owe it to you to tell your story. Like everyone forgot about you. And then I stumbled across you almost a hundred years later. Mm -hmm.